is Cadet Logan, and I'm going to be your platoon leader for this rotation. Today, I'm going to be giving you a brief on our worn out for our next mission. The time zone that I'm going to be using throughout this brief is Eastern Daylight Time, um, and to make sure everybody's here. First squad, second squad, third squad, and fourth squad. PSG, everybody's up. Cool. So test organization, first squad is going to be our first assault element for this mission, and then second squad is going to be our assault two element, followed by third squad being security, and fourth squad is going to be weapon squad and our support by fire. So our situation, the Aryan Ar Ar mortar teams have been conducting frequent harassing mortar attacks against the Tropian units and conducting a sustained and accurate mortar attack last night against Densburg. First platoon will destroy Aryan Army indirect fire capabilities in AO Alpha, which is this region, to protect friendly forces and enable freedom of movement for Atropian forces conducting stability operations in the AO. So our area of interest, so Bravo Company is going to be operating above our northern limit of Route Rolling Rock. Um, they are going to be conducting their offensive operations against retreating Aryan forces, potential for enemy movement between the two AOs, and requirement to coordinate any cross-boundary fire maneuvers. So then Charlie Company is going to be south of our southern limit, which is Route 60, and they're going to be also uh, counteracting retreating Aryan forces the same as Bravo Company, so which either way they decide to retreat will have a company there to counteract that. And to our east limit, which is Highway 31, we have the Atropian forces of the 344th Mechanized Infantry Battalion, and they're going to continue to conduct security operations east of that Highway 31 limit. Uh, terrain Throughout our platoon AO, there is dense vegetation, which limits visibility to 100 meters. So that is this region mainly here. Um, and to the west, there is less vegetation, which enables a visibility of up to 500 meters, which is more towards our AA. So the vegetation allows for proper cover and concealment, with the exception of the sparse areas along roads and high elevation areas. So in this mountain region, vegetation is going to be more sparse and we're going to have limited mobility, uh, but we won't have to worry about that because that's past our objective. Uh, there is also multiple unpaved roads running north to south and east to west, and there's a bridge located at Echo Tango 853968, which is on the map here. And this is where vehicular traffic is the heaviest. And there's also a creek called Otter Creek that runs north to south, which is what our bridge is crossing, and this is going to limit our troop mobility from east to west. Uh, it is only crossable when there is limited rainfall and there's low water levels. Um, so our enemy forces, the Aryan forces, have established mortar firing points that have been conducting harassing operations throughout the AO. The mortar firing points, or the MFPs, are manned with two highly trained mortar men and a security element consisting of three to four Aryan infantry soldiers. Each MFP is suspected of having one to two HM15 81mm mortar systems with a range of 4.5 kilometers. The security elements will be armed with AK-47s and RPK MGs. So our enemy's most likely course of action is that the MFPs are going to assume hasty positions. The enemy will defend their position until they feel no longer capable, then break contact in time to display to displace with their weapons systems. Their most dangerous course of action is that they have prepared defenses protecting their MFPs. Defenders fix attacking forces and prepared engagement areas with small arms, MG, and mortar fires while a counterattack force maneuvers to destroy. We are to estimate the enemy has the ability to counterattack with a squad 
in up to 10 minutes. And we suspect that there is enemy activity in this region, which is our objective. Um, so, in terms of friendly forces, our adjacent unit missions. So, 2nd Platoon is going to clear the AO Bravo to, de to deny enemy freedom of maneuver. 3rd Platoon is to remain in AO Charlie in order to conduct offensive operations against Air... Ariane Army forces operating within the AO, and then 4th Platoon remains in AO Delta in order to conduct offensive operations against Ariane Army forces operating within the AO. So all the platoons are just operating and counteracting those Ariane enemy forces. Um, so our battalion and company mission, Alpha Company attacks Ariane Army forces in AO Alpha at DTG 312100 Romeo January 19 IOT destroy Aryan mortar teams and protect friendly forces. I repeat, Alpha Company attacks Aryan army forces in AO Alpha at DTG 312100 R January 19 IOT destroy Aryan mortar teams and protect friendly forces. So our concept of operation is going to be divided up into three phases. Our first phase is going to be our planning and preparation. And this phase will begin by issuing our Frago, and it'll end whenever the last squad crosses the line of departure at our AA. And then phase two is execution. Uh, this begins where phase one left off, whenever the last squad crosses the linear departure and ends when all squads have reached their march objectives. Decisive to this phase is the destruction of enemy mortar teams in the AO. This is decisive because it disrupts enemy indirect fires and protects friendly forces. And then phase three is consolidation and reorganization. Uh, this phase will begin where phase two left off when everyone has reached their march objective and we'll end with our patrol base occupation somewhere in this region. Is there any questions on that? No. Okay. So task the subordinate units. First squad, our task is going to be to attack to destroy Aryan mortar teams at objective 12 IVO Echo Tango 8680-9650 no later than 312-100 Romeo January 1-9 to degrade enemy IDF capability and our purpose is to protect friendly units and enable freedom of maneuver and we are going to occupy the patrol base 13 IVO Echo Tango 8600-9890 no later than 1900 to prepare for follow-on operations. Um, Second squad and third squad will be doing the same as well. So our timeline for this operation at 2200, all squads are going to be doing their fires plans to FSO. 2300, all squads will brief the leaders via FM. 0600, all squads will cross their linear departure. And 1900, all squads will have occupied the patrol base. Um, and in between, or whenever we're doing our priorities of work, once we occupy our patrol base, I want everybody to be doing uh, rehearsals or rehearsing our special teams whenever we reach our objectives. So EPW, Aiden Litter, and Demo, and also conducting uh, preparation for an attack. So our order for priorities of work, we're going to be doing security throughout our occupation of the patrol base. I'm going to establish a withdrawal plan and communications, and then, as I mentioned before, we're going to be doing our mission prep, so all of our rehearsals, and then we'll go into weapons maintenance, water resupply, mess plan, rest plan, alert plan, resupply, and then everybody will conduct hygiene. We're going to be doing this in buddy teams so that we maintain our security and our patrol base. Um, there will be no transportation throughout the mission for supply. Um, class 1 rations M-M-M, class 2 
OCIE and MAPS, no resupply. Class 3, petroleum. Class 4, construction and fortification materials. Um, class 5, ammunition. 556 ball, 10, 2, 10 per man. And 7.62, 800 rounds per M240B. Um, there will be no medical resupply uh, once we leave the uh, linear departure, but soldiers will carry sunblock, insect repellent, and chapstick to prevent minor injuries. Um, our medic treatment location will be at the TTB Densburg at the battalion aid station. Uh, throughout the mission, soldiers will be treated using self-aid, buddy aid, and CLS prior to calling for CASAVAC. Um, casualties will be prioritized and categorized by the PSG and medic to ensure triage is properly executed prior to evacuation. For our succession of command for command and signal, I, as the PO, I will be located at the uh, company CP during phase one and then I'll be moving with second squad during our phase two and phase three, whenever we're moving towards our patrol base. The succession of command will be myself, the PL, and then it'll be passed down to the PSG, and then first squad leader, second squad leader, third squad leader, and weapon squad leader. Our command post location, the CP will be located centrally during our patrol base operations. Um, our radio frequency will be Romeo 16. Our op or time will be at 1900. The place and location will be in the middle of our patrol base. Um, at this time, I'm going to open the floor to any questions. No questions. The time is now 1500. Are there any other questions? All right, I, gotta I don't. I don't really know succession of command. Okay, this